remote, hard, and beautiful, Newfoundland and Labrador is home to hundreds of talented, professional craftspeople. Although diverse, they will all tell you that it is nigh on impossible to separate the place from the people or the products they make. Tradition is a starting point. It enriches many original designs in the province with character, bridging the past and the present. Good-natured folk tunes and rollicking stories come together. Gossip's tongues wag and clothes in bubblegum colors flap on the wash line. Memorable stories pass on lessons. Inspiration links nature to craft, transplanting the wonders of a frozen landscape, showing us how to tame its damp and chill. Craft lovingly captures the annual migration of majestic whales and the heroic journey of salmon to its spawning grounds. Somehow, in the middle of days stuck on fast forward, our craftspeople dedicated to refining skills that can't be rushed and creating objects that endure. Many hands make light work, as the saying goes. It is a fact of life in smaller communities, banded together by common goals and shared values. Craft studios are found in city centres and dotted along inland highways and outport coasts. They are destinations and places of employment. Craft may be steeped in history in Newfoundland and Labrador, but it has a future too. Studios train staff and offer role models and classes. Organizations provide resources and opportunities to learn and earn. And educational institutions conduct specialized craft training. Together, they inspire, shape, and launch careers, ensuring that craftspeople in Newfoundland and Labrador will continue to make objects that are distinctive and true.